Yeah, we're here. Okay. We're on it. I'm Agent Green. And I'm Agent Schneider. And we're, we are the, the nutrition, nutrition detectives. detectives. We got a tip about a situation at a local businessman's home. And we're here to check it out. We understand you may have a nutrition violation in your home and we came to investigate. Just a few questions, sir. Please stick with the facts. Height? 5'8". Weight? 156. Any history of hypertension? No. Diabetes? No. Or heart disease? Yes. Yes. Okay. We need to check out his pantry. That's where the violation is. Mm-hmm. We got ourselves a salty situation. Progresso mm. soup, 840 milligrams per one cup. Sir, can you tell me, when you have soup, how much do you have? That would serve about two. Okay. Mm. This could be a potentially that, hypertensive... That could be a potentially ha hazardous situation. It could be, definitely. Especially if you have a history of heart disease, you do want to follow a low-sodium diet. And guidelines, mm. Agent Green, for sodium? 1,500 milligrams of sodium per day. Per day? Per day. That puts you at almost half of that amount. And the 1,500 is if you're hi currently hypertensive. If you currently have high blood pressure or you're Afro-American and you're over the age of 65. If none of those criteria apply to you, then it's 2,300 milligrams a day. Lower sodium soups on the market have less than 500 milligrams of sodium per serving, which is still a little on the high side. However, making homemade soup with less sodium would fix the problem. And it's a tastier alternative. Hamburger helper. Not hamburger helper. Hamburger helper. Cheesy enchilada flavor. Hmm, what's the sodium content of this one? This is 610 milligrams per cup. Sir, how much of this would you have in a typical meal? Well, that would serve four. Okay, so if a serving is 610 milligrams, not terrible, but do you have anything else in the meal? Eh, maybe a salad, but mm -hmm. I really love french fries. Ooh, mm. are they from a fast food restaurant? Oh, they're frozen. They're frozen. Hmm. Some frozen french fries. That would put you over the sodium limit. Very I'm likely. Afraid. Very likely. Hmm. Sir, you can consider this a warning just because we're concerned about your general health, but if you continue on this path of high sodium processed foods, we are concerned that hypertension is in your future. And with your history of heart disease, we would like to see you be a little more careful with your salt. I would like to say a little something positive with the negative. I've been looking at your pantry and I can see you are doing some very good things. We do have some whole wheat pasta. And we also have some canned beans, which are a good source of protein and fiber. These are a little higher in sodium, so but what you can do is rinse them under cold water for a couple minutes and that will remove 40% of the sodium. You can also buy the dried beans and peas, which are salt-free. Well, I think we got that situation straightened out, Agent Green. But I hope that he learned that the food that is less processed is lower in sodium and better for him. Oh, something's coming in. Some, you got a call? Oh. Oh, we got to go. We have a situation on 6th and Main. That's in the freezer. Oh, my God. We're on it.